What does it take to transform an idea into a law? How does the legislature truly work? This series explores those questions and more as we go behind the curtain in Olympia for a session extra. The speaker has opened the roll call machine. Has every member voted? Legislators have to work together as a team to get things done. And in Olympia, there are four different teams. House Democrats, House Republicans, Senate Democrats, and Senate Republicans. Each team is called a caucus, and each caucus elects leaders. There are several different positions, and each plays an important role. But this piece is about just one, the whip. The term comes from a fox hunting expression. The whipper in was in charge of keeping hunting dogs together as a team during a chase. With 98 members in the House and 49 members in the Senate, there are a lot of people to keep track of while chasing a bill. Whether you're talking about House Democrats. I can't do it all alone. I have a whip team. We have deputy whips and assistant whips, positions that I previously did. Or Senate Republicans. This whip is the emblem of the office that has been passed down from whip to whip to whip to whip over time. One of the major responsibilities of the whip is counting votes before a bill goes to the floor. Really the way I look at it is um, we want to run an efficient and effective operation including particularly our floor operation. That's where a lot of my job comes in. Many people don't understand that if we don't know what the outcome of a bill is going to be prior to being run on the floor, that bill doesn't get run. You will very rarely see a bill run but get voted down. We always know that a bill is going to pass. That doesn't mean it's not going to be a contentious bill or the vote might not be very close. Mr. President, there are 25 yay, 23 nay, one excused. Having received a constitutional majority and gross substitute. But uh, that's why the vote counting part of my job is so very important. I need to be able to report what has the votes and what does not have votes. Zeiger. Another job is making sure members show up for votes. Senator King, how do you vote? because I know how painful unexcused absences are, and no one likes to see those on their record. Gentlemen from the 3rd District, Representative Richelli. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, please excuse Representative Reeves. The member's excused. So it is the job of the whip to excuse members if they're going to be away from the floor. Some of my, my uh, funny stories just have to do with, um, you know, with 50 members. It's actually not that funny, but it's just part of the job. With 50 members, we had important key legislation, and having to talk to one of my members uh, uh, and bring them in basically pretty under the weather and say hey you know can we just get you it's it's more it is like that with 50 members when we had previously um, if one person got sick sometimes you know we didn't want to slow up or shut the floor down in books and films the whip is sometimes described as a cunning and ruthless character responsible for getting republicans or democrats to toe the party line you know i think that most people when they have an idea of whip, they're thinking of House of Cards. But in reality... Yeah, it's definitely not like House of Cards. In my caucus, the whip doesn't perform that same role of the power broker, uh, mercenary. I'm more concerned with making sure that my members are where they need to be, when they need to be there, and that I know what they're going to do. The misconceptions are that there's a lot of what people would call arm twisting, etc. We don't do a lot of that. What we do is we have conversations. We find out where people are at. We find out if they have problems or issues with particular policies. And we see if we can uh, you know, talk to members and alleviate those concerns and issues. Uh, sometimes that's in the form of amendments. Amendment 777, the clerk will read. So it is my job to count the vote. It is not necessarily my job to twist an arm to get the vote that would be best for the caucus. And we do have many, many uh, very independent thinkers in our caucus, and it would be a fruitless effort for me to do that. Sometimes those concerns uh, race to a point where we just don't bring a bill forward because enough members um, are not supportive of that legislation. Opposed, no. Yeah! Whips are also responsible for assigning offices and parking spots, which is apparently more interesting than it sounds. I have been tempted to use the whip. <laughs> Probably my most... Uh, funny uh, story it has to do not with being whipped, just uh, with parking spaces. Well, here's the crazy thing about it. We uh, try to take, we try to make it as objective as possible so that if we use seniority, 
then we have a pretty good outline of the way that people can choose what they want. Um, but there are some members who say, no, I should be on the seniority list because I served in the House or I was appointed two minutes earlier than that person. Or I mean, it's really kind of a, a funny thing, but it tells you how important it is to people to be in a place where they're comfortable. I may or may not have uh, moved one of my members' cars uh, at a time and uh, then I went up and watched them from from upstairs to, to see them as they were trying to find it in the parking lot and finally called them and said you might want to look in the mansion lot. Sometimes being the whip means being the bearer of bad news. I think probably the most difficult part of the job is when we get towards the end and as you know there's a number of bills that are coming forward and um, when a member has a particular piece of priority legislation and uh, the votes aren't there and having those conversations a lot of our good policy that's done in Washington State it takes multiple years to get passed and knowing uh, when you can have that conversation and when folks have to kind of let it go. Because it's really difficult. And that's good, that's in the process. This whole place is set up really to have a high bar to pass bills and this is just one other stop in the process. It should be very difficult because we've got to have a whole bunch of eyes look at it. Um, it's going to impact the entire state. So it's, it's not an easy thing, but I think by design that's the healthiest thing. I'm Mike McClanahan, and this has been a TVW Session Extra.